Well, hello, this is Dr. Bill Winston. I'm coming to you with a word of encouragement. Praise God. I know things are happening all around us, but let me tell you, all is well. Say that, all is well. Now, why do I say this? Because it's taken from 2 Kings in chapter 4. This is when a woman who had no children, she made a special uh, prophet's quarters for the man of God. And when she did that, it was a seed that she sowed. And as a result of that, the man of God, when he laid his head down on the bed that she had provided, something spoke to him and said, ask her, what does she want? Well, the woman, they found out she had no seed, had no child. And so he said, this time next year, you're going to have a child. You'll embrace a son. She took that, took that word. Next thing you know, true enough, she had a son. Well, the son was growing up. He went out to the field with his father and out there. He said, my head, my head. And some people say, well, it must have been a sunstroke or whatever have you. But the father brought him back into his mother. He laid his head on his mother's lap and died. Well, what did she do? She took that boy up to the prophet's quarters, what she had made. And that's where that anointing is, praise God. And she laid him on the bed. And then she went down to her husband. She said, I need to go see the man of God. And he said, well, what's wrong? It's, it's not Sunday or, you know, church time. And she said, all is well. Notice she didn't even tell her husband the, the misfortune that had just happened to that family. Didn't even speak it. And sometimes it's to your advantage not to speak what other people are saying, not to speak what some of the news media is saying on television. Why? Because as a man, he, it, it, confession brings possession. We, we don't want that. We are to speak what the Bible says. We are to speak what God tells us to speak. And he outlines it in it right here. And so what happened was she went, saddled a donkey. She got a servant to go to the man of God. The man of God saw her coming a long ways off. He told his, uh, his servant, Gehazi, he said, now, yonder comes the Shunammite woman. Ask her, is it well with her? Is it well with her husband? Is it well with her child? And he went and he said to her, is it well with you or with your husband and your child? She said, all is well. Wow. Now, this child is up there on that bed, graveyard, dead. And she said, all is well. I believe that's a way to stop a virus, supernaturally. And I'm saying the church can start decreeing some things. And that whatever this curse is, it would have to bow. I know I'm telling the truth. You remember, we used to say when I was growing up, we used to say the Pledge of Allegiance and, and, and uh, we are one nation under God and so forth. Well, look how many times they've tried to take that out since then. Why? Didn't want this nation to be under God. Doesn't want your nation to be under God. Why? Because if it's under God, all this stuff can't take place. <laughs> <laughs> that we, we have rights under God that we can be free of all of this. So I'm saying what happens when the worst thing shows up? A confession of God's word. And so what happened? The man of God, he saw something was wrong by the spirit. And he went up there and he went up to her room of, of where she had laid the son up to the room that she had built for him. And she saw the son. He laid on top of the son. The son sneezed seven times and got up. Praise God. So I'm, what am I saying here? I'm saying I think some people try to fight things of curses and, and crises and, and all kinds of uh, uh, flu and sickness and disease and plagues naturally. I'm saying the church is a supernatural church. We can speak things into existence. And as we decree it, God will do it. One man said, you never rise any higher than you're willing to confess. So I'm saying, start confessing in the middle of this tragic thing that's going on, in the middle of it. Start confessing your deliverance. Start confessing that this thing has been stopped. This thing has, as fast as it started, that's as fast as it's going to stop. I mean for the whole world, if you feel led to. But I'm saying decree a thing, not I won't get sick. I can't get sick. Oh, that's extreme, Reverend. God is extreme. If you look at this Bible, 
is is extreme. To split a Red Sea is extreme. <laughs> to, to raise a man who's been dead four days and stinking, that's extreme. This whole thing is extreme. God wants you to be extreme. We call it faith. So decree a thing and it shall be established to you. So I'm encouraging you, come out of the natural. Go over to the supernatural. Come out of religion. Go over to righteousness. And righteous are as bold as a lion. Say it so God can do it. Well, this is Bill Winston saying we love you and keep walking by faith.